I'm Chris Dyer. I like to travel the world doing art, having fun, and meeting interesting people. I hope you enjoyed these adventures. adventures. Since I don't get to spend as much time as I'd like in my home base of Montreal, before this journey, I took the chance to gather some of my best friends at my home for a little party. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to the adventures. Uh, on this episode we are in Tarapoto, in the jungle of Peru, where I'm teaching an uh, art workshop and doing a bunch of uh, shamanic medicinal ceremonies with a bunch of people who came here from around the world. I hope you enjoy it. As we arrived to Peru, Ariane and me stayed with my parents in Lima for a couple of days. And we also checked out some ruins while we were at it. So guys, um, uh, we have a beautiful project here in Tarapoto and the project is to keep the knowledge of indigenous people with the, with the Quechua tradition. No? And this tradition is very, very, very ancient, very old. Uh, and uh, the name of this project is Katari. We are going to pass this during this day in this beautiful place where we can be able to enjoy the river, the space. It's very simple, but very comfortable at the same time. Yeah, it's going to be a very beautiful, beautiful week. And I'm, I'm sure that we are going to, to learn from each other. Uh, it's going to be a very powerful week. <laughs> and very interesting. And also we are going to paint our life. It means uh, we are going to find ourselves during this week it's going to be very beautiful all the time outdoors where we can open inside communicate with the spirit communicate with the nature to remind about how to connect you know, about our nature if you know more about our nature we are going to understand the nature of each one of you or each one of the nature all the relation not, not, not just I'm talking relation about the uh, woman and men. It's also relation with the stones, with the element, with water, with the cosmos and everything. You know? um, yes, um, thank you guys to, to be here. Tarapoto city, we're uh, getting ready to go to the deeper jungle, Katari Center, for our healing arts retreat. Should be really interesting experience.
diciéndome, gritándome muy fuerte sin cesar Escúchenme Somos hijos del pájate Somos dueños de la tierra en que nacieron y murieron We have now arrived to a little jungle hut where we be staying at. It comes with a bathroom and all, even a shower. Woohoo! A little balcony of sorts with a hammock. A nice jungle view. So this is the Temascal that we're gonna be doing a sweat lodge ceremony pretty soon. I don't think I'll be able to film in there, but basically these rocks are getting really hot here and they'll go in there where we'll be sweating for a couple hours. love in the same time but every process that we were doing and passing is, is part of our healing eh? because sometimes eh, we are running away about our shadows and fears and, and in these kind of ceremonies we have to face everything eh? and the most beautiful is how to how to be there no? and holding this space and to, to go straight ahead no? because we have to understand that uh, we don't want to carry this, this situation in other lives. No? What we heal here is not just our body, it's not just our mind, it's also our spirit. No? And all the work that we do is to prepare for the next life. Dream. 
dream about the train It's gonna take me back to where I belong Well, the ocean speaks and spits And I can hear it from the interstate And I'm screaming at my brother My cell phone is far away Brands. I was like, well, I like, uh, I like to do skateboard graphics, Chris. Okay, well, what's your ideal skate brand that you wanna, uh, you know, that you think your art would fit in? When I first got out of school and I wanted to skateboard graphics, I looked at the brands where my art fit in and I hit them up, and you will be rejected 95 to 98% of the time, but eventually you will succeed at finding a client who's like, hey, what your art's doing is exactly what I was looking for and let's work together. The three medicine ceremonies that we did there at Qatari were quite intense, but also very cleansing and rewarding for us all. Before I came here, I was not sure about it. I was a little anxious and nervous because I wasn't sure what was gonna, what I was gonna be shown. But when I got here, I was really open-minded and I was willing and ready to change. But I still had that little bit of skepticalness. After the first ceremony, you know, it showed me what made me really anxious, and it was, you know, fear and abandonment and sadness and all my past. It just came up, and it was so yucky and after the first ceremony I was just like man that was all the stuff I didn't want to see and I was so afraid to let it go but after speaking with everybody and having all of these people here to share it with it made me feel more comfortable and after the second ceremony I was shown love and happiness and gratitude and I found that I could love myself again and I saw what was really important in life and the third ceremony I became content and peaceful with my life and one of the most important things in my life is color and I was really dedicated and drawn to paint this as um, me surrendering to the universe and I couldn't I don't know, I just couldn't stop and I really wanted to continue making my art because before I came here, I couldn't paint. I would sit at my house and I'd look at my paintings and I'd be like, man, that's really cool, but... Uh. But now I feel inspired and it was exactly what I was looking for. And this place is sacred. It's beautiful. It's good to not be connected with the rest of the world through social media or a phone and it reminded me that I need to spend more time in nature and remembering who I really am. Um, I definitely enjoyed the whole combination of art and it's diving deep into your soul as well as expressing your soul into the physical realms which gave, which I've always struggled with and now it's finally manifesting into actual work and it's feeling good. It was more than I could have asked for or could have expected. I 
not only advanced and in, and grew inside myself spiritually but also artistically. I learned a lot. I'm happy to have such a great teacher. It was really awesome. I can't even summarize it in words. It was just too much. You honestly have to come out here yourself to figure out and see what we're all talking about and see the page that we're on now. I think everyone here is leaving here a different person than a new person. I was going to graduate art school and I graduated on the 14th and this event started on the 12th. So I actually decided to skip my graduation ceremony to come out here and uh, graduate spiritually in the jungle. And uh, I'm definitely satisfied with my decision and I don't regret it at all. I've learned so much both as an artist and uh, spiritually on this trip. I wouldn't trade it for the world. It's definitely uh, one of my favorite things I've ever done. Um, it was amazing being able to like process things spiritually and then being able to put them onto a canvas. Like even this work right here is like a uh, representation of the uh, experiences that I've had here. So it was nice to process everything that way. Two years ago I came to the jungle, I did a diet and I set my intention for unleashing that creative flow. And the amazing synchronicity was is that I actually discovered um, your work, the work of Chris Dyer a couple of years ago along with other visionary artists that I was greatly inspired by and that really helped me through that time, that challenging time of doing the diet which was pretty overwhelming at the time and um, but I came out with some great artwork and it really kind of geared me up to to want to create more and over the last couple of years painting for me has been a real luxury it's not something I have so much time to do so um, when I met you at the Boom Festival and you said that you were doing this retreat, it just seemed like I definitely had to come because I wanted to take it to the next level and the fact that I could actually come back to where I would started this journey two years ago and actually come back with one of the artists that inspired me so much at the time just seemed like the perfect situation to be in. And it certainly has been the perfect situation. I have really enjoyed being here with the whole group and feel greatly inspired by your artwork and everything that you've been teaching. And um, yeah, I feel totally ready to, to keep moving forwards and keep creating and keep painting and looking forward to, to have time to reflect now and seeing how my work evolves. It's been uh, one of the best experiences of my life, definitely. Um, I uh, I had high expectations, sort of, when I came, and they have all been transcended. <laughs> you get to express yourself, you know, you get to find a pathway to actually um, express what you've experienced, and art, art, you know, that says a thousand words in one painting, so it's, I mean, yeah, without it, I'd be lost. <laughs> My name is James Argenti, and I'm a Slovatic painter. Bueno, en esta oportunidad voy a compartir bueno, lo que sigo explorando, sigo investigando acerca de cómo pintar con pigmentos naturales de la Amazonía. Uh, in this uh, occasion, I'm going to share my current investigations on how to paint with natural pigments from the Amazon. Going to the waterfall for a day off on our last day here at Qatari. And now we have ride to the waterfalls of Ayashiaku. Thank you. 
The cambo is a frog. It's the um, it's the energy of the animal who helps to you to see more than this way. You know, this helps to you to see in this way and to start to open your, your sensitives and to purify your to purify yourself, to purify your mind, to purify an energetic state also and put uh, it uh, it helps to to be aligned. Mm -hmm. Aligning all your 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 vibrations. No? When when it uh, take the po the poison of the of the frog cambocito, your body start to react, no? and your immune system start to create uh, to try to 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 take care about your your body, no? about your your being. In this way, your your energy and your blood start to to create a lot of uh, manifestations, no. And it can be a, it can be also a pain. It can be painful. It can be also maybe drunk, no. And this is the way how your body react to clean, no. Uh, for the purge in this time, sometimes we go to the bathroom, no. It's very important sometimes to have a vaccine, no. For me, it's the nature and the most amazing vaccines, no. For or to eliminate all the toxins in the body, and it helps also can helps for cancer, no. For for or don't have a chance to cancer to enter because it's the cancer is the accumulation of energy and also to toxins in your body, no? Mm -hmm. Oh, I did it. Awesome. Yeah. So happy. <laughs> yeah. After our time in the jungle, I took Ariani and my parents to spend Christmas in Cusco, the ancient capital of the Inca Empire, to check out as many ruins as we could see.
this very healing journey. Don't miss the next episode where I'll be in the country of Chile but mostly exploring mystical Easter Island. Peace! If you enjoyed this episode, please click like and also subscribe so you can catch my future episodes. Have a good one. Peace.